Given the general quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, the quadratic formula will tell us that the two solutions can be expressed as these expressions as follows, right? The opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Question number 29 asks us to find the sum of the roots. Well, if these are the two roots, or the two solutions, roots is just another uh, word for solutions, we are being asked what the sum of these two expressions is. Well, this looks like a big mess. One thing is they're both fractions and the denominators are 2a, so we have that in our favor. And if we add these, negative b plus negative b will be negative 2b. The radical parts of these expressions are opposite, so if we add them, they will cancel. So this is minus 2b over 2a. The 2's cancel. So the sum of the two roots is minus b over a. Question 30 asks us for the product of the two roots. All right, again, this, this looks like it's going to be really complicated, but it's not that bad. What we need to do is we need to take minus b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac times minus b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And this will all be over 2a times 2a. What a mess. It's not that bad because this is the, the factored form of a squared minus b squared. So this will be minus b squared minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac squared all over 2a times 2a is 4a squared. Minus b squared, that's b squared minus the square of the square root, that'll just cancel. This will be minus the quantity b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. If we distribute that minus sign, the b squareds were canceled. This will end up being 4ac over 4a squared. 4's cancel. One factor of a will cancel. So the product of the roots can be expressed as c over a. And now we're up to question 31, which asks us to write an equation whose roots are 2 plus or minus the square root of 5. How can we write an equation that has those two numbers as answers or roots? Well, we know that the sum of the roots must be minus b over a, so minus b over a needs to be equal to the sum of 2 plus the square root of 5 and 2 minus the square root of 5. The square roots of 5 will cancel, so minus b over a needs to be equal to 4. And the product of the roots, c over a, must equal the product of these. Well, this is the factored form of a squared minus b squared. That'll be 2 squared minus the square root of 5 squared. 4 minus 5, or negative 1. So, let's just pick something here. Suppose a were 1. If a is 1, then the opposite of b would be 4. So we will have x squared. The opposite of b is 4, so it will be minus 4x. And then if a is 1, c will turn out to be negative 1. So here's a quadratic equation whose two answers are 2 plus or minus the square root of 5. And of course, the important thing to remember is that there are others. This, this is certainly not the only quadratic equation that has these two answers as roots.